Hello gamers, today is the video that Chuck made for our YouTube channel. Thank you, Chuck. He here's the video now. Hello? So you want to know how to make a follow clones, right? You want to know how to make clones follow clones, right? It's super duper confusing. I'm going to make a tutorial on how to do it. So first of all, go to a when green flag clicked. We're going to put a hide in there. And we're going to go down to my blocks and we're going to start cloning stuff. Now you may be asking, hold, hold on, hold on. This doesn't sound right. Why are we making a block to clone when there's already a, like a block to clone it? Why do we need to do this extra step? Well, there's a thing called run without screen refresh. And what that will do is it'll basically run things instantly instead of having it go like clone 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 it'll go like clone like instantly so we're gonna put we're gonna take that off i'm gonna place okay and we're gonna put it right over there okay we are going to repeat how many times you want to make a clone so four and then critical easy to show that it actually works we're gonna put change x and change y then we're gonna put a one star as clone to make sure that it shows when it you know, clones itself ah I see it we need to put a make a clone block right there and then we're gonna start it what the sussy <laughs> Sussy. Oh, wait a minute. I am stupid. First of all, let's go make a costume real quick. As you can already see, there's some over there. We are going to go to X0 zero and 0 to make sure they all stay in the same place. For smi not smiley, frowny faces. Very sad. Now, we're going to keep track of these clones to put them in a list. So, in order to do that, we make a clone ID for this sprite only. And what that will do is it will basically just put those, put this for the sprite only and for those clones individually. Instead of having for all sprites, which be basically just globally setting the variable. Which won't be good, because then all the sprites will be the same number, except for this sprite only, which will do it for individual clones. So we're going to click OK. We're going to set clone ID to 0. We're going to put change clone ID by 1. Make sure it's behind the create clone of myself, because if you don't, then it's just going to create a clone and then change the number. And so change the number and then create a clone. Okay, and then we're going to make sure we keep track of these by putting a clone X for this sprite only because you know we're logging these for each individual clone and then clone Y for this sprite only. Okay, we are going to set both of these so set clone X and clone Y to X and Y. And then to make sure we got this right, we can just put a little say something down there. We're gonna say I'm gonna put a join block because if you put a and block. It's not going to do anything because it only accepts booleans. Okay, join clone X and clone Y. Um, I don't know how to space these exactly, so it's just going to be mashed together as a single word. So let's see. Ah, there it is. Remember, X and Y, X, Y, X, Y, X, Y. So that's pretty good so far. And to make sure we also got the clone ID, we're going to put the clone ID in there. One, two, three, four. Good. Now let's remove that and move on to the next sprite. This is going to be our follow sprite. Or this is going to be the next sprite that's going to follow uh, this sprite. And then another sprite's going to follow this and so on and so on. These guys are going to be the happy guys. These guys are going to be happy that they're chasing the blue sad guys. Which is kind of kind of cynical if you really think about it. We're just going to copy all of this code in just in case if we have another sprite following this sprite. Here comes the cool part. 
Okay, this is where we're gonna settle in with um, lists. So we're gonna put a clone list for this sprite only. Clone list. The all this will do is basically keep track of these clones right here. When I start as clone, when I start as clone show, and then I believe that's all I need to do for the sprite for the time being. Okay, we're gonna go back to sprite one. And this is where we're going to start messing with lists. So we're going to make a list. I'm going to name it clone position for all sprites. And what a list is, is basically just like a variable that contains variables. Say you want to make like a, I don't know, an inventory system, right? You have an inventory system. Let's say you have, I don't know, a couple food items, water, and a key. Okay. If you go up to a door, right, and you have that key in your inventory, you can just pull that key out in, in the code, and then you can just use it as a regular variable. And then, ta-da, the door is open with your key. I'm going to put this for all sprites so that um, it will basically be used with this one and this one. Okay, we're going to put it right there. I'm going to check all of these off because they're cluttering up everything. And then we're going to log all this stuff. So what that means is we're going to add both clone X and clone Y to clone position. So basically just be logging uh, the clones X and Y position. Okay, let's see how that works. Works like a chime. But uh oh, every time you click it, it keeps going up by eight or how many um, clones you have. So in order to do that, you just go up here when clicked. When green flag clicked, we are going to put a delete all of this so that it goes up to how many clones you have, no matter what. Okay, so now all that stuff is in there. Let's move these down a little bit. Negative 90. We're just going to move these out of the way so that we can see what we're doing. Okay, when that is done, we're going to place a separate when I start as clone. And then in this one, we are going to put a forever block. And then um, we're going to put as many ifs as we, as we do clones. So I have four clones, so I'll put in four if thens. Okay, well, then we're going to put four of these in there for these statements or whatever they're called. And then we're going to put clone ID right here. Remember, this is going to be the clone. So first clone, second clone, third clone, fourth clone. Fourth clone. <laughs> So one, two, three, four. Clone ID equals one. Then all we're gonna do is we we're gonna replace them. We're just gonna refresh. We're gonna refresh them with a new x variable. So x position and y position. I'm gonna place this. And what that'll do is it'll basically just so I already did that for this one. All right, logged in position right there. And what this will do is, if it's in another X and Y position, it'll just keep on updating that position on this item. So, place item one right here. And we'll place this up here and only that. Place item two, this and only that. With whatever. I'll put X position and Y position because this is the X. Oh, this is the X and this is the Y. Okay, three and four, five and six, and seven and eight. Now, to demonstrate this, we're just going to have a little thing where when I start as clone, we're always going to be gliding to a random position. You can change this however you want. This is just an example. Ta-da, look at that. Where they move, it's going to be logged in. This is the X position and the Y position for one singular clone. That's really cool. And this right here is gonna um, is how we're gonna make this sprite or how these clones follow those clones. In order to do that, we put a forever block down there. I'm gonna put how many clones we have for if statements like last sprite we are going to put a statement or whatever they're called I don't know um and then we're gonna put a clone list right here not a clone ID because you know 
Um, what if you put another clone right there? Now we kind of need that clone ID. So, one, two, three, and four. Okay, and with this, we're going to make two more variables. We're going to make clone list x for the x variable of these um, things up here for this sprite only, and then clone list y for this sprite only. And that will update this right here. So we'll set both of these clone list x and then clone list y with these item one item two okay and then we can just duplicate this and then set it to three four five six seven eight remember depending on how many clones you want to follow we're going to put a motion block here that says glide one seconds to a determined x and y variable so we're going to put clone list x and clone list y and see how we did so far Yep, what's going on? Ah, there it is. Is that clone list I remember it's like clone list to zero. And then that should be it. Yep. Alright. Now they're following them. Congrats. You did it. And to make sure they're following the clones, all you gotta do is follow them, right? You know, this this clone is following this clone over here. This red guy following this blue guy down there as you can clearly see now you're thinking hold on why do they go to that point every single time i click the button well that's because it glides one second and it goes instantly so it will go to um whatever positions right here instantly and it'll take one second to glide over there and then one second to glide to the next position so in order to fix that we just put this over here put a when I start this clone, um, forever, and then we're going to put a weight block. Where's the weight block? There it is. Um, we're going to put 0 0.4 seconds to have them time to move around and stuff. We're also going to move these because, you know, kind of looks weird. Okay, we see our new project. Oh, yeah. And no matter what, they're always going to be different. Which is really cool. And that's basically it. That's the clone tutorial. It's really not that simple, but it's not really that, you know, easy. What did you say? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> um, so, I know there's definitely more um, simple ways to do this, but I just don't simply care right now. This is like the only way I know how to do it. And this is really useful for, um, you know, games that involve following clones, which is basically every single game in existence. I've tried to, you know, look it up on Google, but nobody's done it before. Oh, shut up. Uh, so, so thanks, Chuck. Yeah, so subscribe to be a part of the Gerald Jogger. Bye.